Hello guys, welcome to Passivern. In this video, I am going to review Rabbit Loader. Rabbit Loader is a tool that will help you to increase your WordPress website's speed. And if you see, they are saying that Rabbit Loader is a WordPress plugin that reduces website load times using content minification, lazy loading, and CDN caching. Now, if you see the lifetime deal pricing of this Rabbit Loader, they are offering up to license tier four. The license tier one pricing is only 59 USD and if you see the highest tier pricing is 339 USD on license tier 1 you will get access of high website 25 page rules unlimited page views and 100 GB monthly traffic bandwidth but I will recommend you to get at least this license tier 2 guys because if you get this license tier 2 then these all things will be unlimited and see depending on different license tiers this bandwidth uses will increase these are the things guys on the highest license tier you will get one terabyte monthly traffic bandwidth now without further doing let's go to the dashboard of rabbit loader and let's explore how things work there and how it can be helpful for you now there is no dashboard of this rabbit loader guys there is a plugin actually but before installing this plugin on my website i will check my current speed so i'll copy my website url from here let me copy it and then i will go to gt matrix gt matrix is a tool by which you can check your website speed so i haven't installed this plugin on my website yet so before installing this website i will analyze my site speed here so i'm entering my website url and then i will test the site speed so let me test it See, it's testing. So it's generating report, guys. And see, this is the uh, result. See, this is the result, guys. And from here, as you can see, the grade is B, performance 82%, and structure performance is 78%. And largest content full paint is 1.5 second, total blocking times 222 millisecond, and cumulative layout shift is 0.11. Now I will install the plugin of Rabbit Loader here. Let me go to my dashboard or backend of my website. So this is my backend guys and from here I will go to this plugin section and then I will add one new plugin. Okay, let me click here on this add new. And then I will up upload the plugin here. Let me upload. So here is the plugin and then I will just click here install now and then I will check how much the uh, speed will be increased. okay then let me activate the plugin so the activation has been done guys see this is rabbit loader and i have just installed and activate this plugin on my website i haven't done anything yet so now i will go to my website and now i'll reload it let me reload it and then i will check the speed again here so let me open one another gt matrix so this one is second now here if i insert the url of the site and then if i test your site then let me see what can be the website speed so it's generating report guys and now see this is the report and previously see there is b and 82 percent and previously there was also b and 82 percent structure was previously 78 percent and now it is also 78 percent largest content full paint it is previously it was 1.5 second now it's 1.7 second and total blocking time now is 199 millisecond and previously it was 222 millisecond and cumulative layout shift previously was 0 
and now it's 0.12 so i'm not seeing a lot of improvement of my page speed here now there have some settings let me set up the settings from here and at first see there have url performance so if i go to this url performance and then from here i can see maybe the url performance but there have some um, notification or warning see it seems you are also using w3 total catch a plugin which conflicts with rabbit loader optimization which has is deactivating w3 total catch and hit the purge all pages button on the rabbit loader home tab so they are recommending me to deactivate this w3 total catch a plugin guys and they also saying it seems you are also using wp optimize page catching plugin so they are also recommending me to deactivate this plugin also they are recommending me to deactivate this jetpack plugin okay so let me deactivate this plugins at first let me deactivate this plugins from here so i have been selected this in three plugin guys jetpack and w3 total catch and wp optimize that this rabbit loader is recommending to deactivate so let me deactivate these things from here so i have deactivated this plugins guys see here this w3 total catch wp optimize and this jetpack plugin has been deactivated now from here let me reload it and let me see if i get this warnings again so now i am not getting this warnings guys that's great now see if i go to home section let, let me see what will happen okay see this is the uh, home and there are not so much information and the url performance will show you all the urls that are available on your website and see let it be load here these are the urls that is available on my website and these urls are queued for desktop and mobile they are saying and then they have images so if i go to this images section and here they are showing that for recently added websites image optimization report may take up to one hour for the first time okay it will take up to one hour that's why i'm seeing here everything zero maybe because in my website there are a lot of images after that they have critical css reports so if i go to this critical css from here i'm seeing everything zero see zero total page zero original css page zero optimized css page so everything zero they are showing and they are and they are showing the canonical url also if i go to the syrian uses here you can see how much syrian you have used basically after that they have demographics so if i go to this demographic section guys let me see what will happen so here maybe you can see the bandwidth that you have used and total asset loaded in different countries in last 30 days and as i have just installed this um, plugin on my website that's why i'm not seeing a lot of data here but if you use it uh, professionally every day then definitely you will see your data here after that they have sitting so if i go to the sitting option here see they have a cloud flyer option so you can also set up it with cloud flyer and they have general sitting and here instant content change is crucial for my visitor you can off it default by default it is off but you can on it and then they have turn on me mode to do testing or resolving conflict so you can also turn on these things after that you can exclude any url from here you can ignore any parameter from here and then they have um, the connection um, status basically that means whether your plugin is directly connected with the dashboard of rabbit loader you can see these things you can disconnect from rabbit loader from here so these are the things i hope you get idea after that they have log message you can see all the activity log basically from here so if i go to this log message 
from here i can see all the activity logs now previously when i had the three other plugins i had uh, tested the site speed and i have got in this result now i will test one another time and then i will show you how much the difference is so let me enter my website url here and then i will just click here test your site and then let it be analyzed so it's generating the report guys and now see the grade is e i'm not sure why so the grade is decreasing according to gt matrix so after installing this revit loader and after deactivating all the other plugin that helped me to speed up my website see this is the result see this is the first result and when i have analyzed this result at this time i haven't installed revit loader on my website and then this is the time when on my website revit loader was installed also other three plugins that help me to optimize my site speed was also installed and this is the result at this time and the last one see this is the last result and here the uh, the result is e grade and performance decreased to 43 percent guys and at this time on my website i have only rabbit loader plugin installed and other three plugins i have deactivated if i go to my plugin section from here see i have deactivated my jetpack my w3 total catch and wp optimize these plugins these three plugins was helpful for me to optimize my site speed and I have installed this Revit loader. See, if I go, if I check here, Revit loader, where is Revit loader? See, here is the Revit loader. So, in my case, this Revit loader is not uh, working, guys. I think so. If I visit to my website, let me visit. So according to GT Matrix, guys, my website speed is uh, decreasing after using this Revit loader. This is the fact, guys. And I have used their free plan. If you see, if you go to their website from here, see, this is Revit loader's website. And from here, if you go to the pricing section, and then here, if you see, they have a free plan. And I have used this free plan, guys. And this is the result that I have gotten after using their free plan. So these are the things I hope you get idea about this tool. Hello guys, this is the second part of this video. How if I go to my video recording software, see the first part of rabbit loader I have recorded about 15 hours ago and now why i am recording the second part because sometime in some software it takes some time to optimize your site right that's why now i will analyze my website again that means i will analyze my website speed again and i will show you what is the um, speed analytics of my website now that's why i will copy my website url from here let me copy and then let me go to GT matrix and then I will analyze my website speed now after installing rabbit loader plugin 15 hours ago and I will show you what will happen after 15 hours so if I just click here on this button then let it be analyzed so it's analyzing guys just wait some time So now see this is the analytics that's great guys previously it was B grade and E grade and now it's A grade and see in my dashboard 
I haven't done anything yet in this 15 hours. If I go to my plugin section, let me go to my plugin section and let me check. From here, if I go to my plugin section, And then here, see, I have installed here only Revit Loader. See, here is the Revit Loader, guys. And my other plugins, W3 Total Catcher, WP Optimize, these plugins are still deactivated. But now, in this situation, the grid is, see, this is the grid. And performance is 100%, structure 100%, largest contentful paint is now 298 milliseconds. So everything has been improved guys after 15 hours so this debit loader is not working just after installing the plugin on your website it will take some time and after some time guys then you will get the result basically then your site speed will increase i hope you get idea guys about this debit loader tool guys in the first part of this video you have seen that the performance speed or performance grade was E and now the performance grade is A after 15 hours. These are the things, guys. These are the uh, complete idea about this Revit Loader tool, and that tool is really amazing. I think if you think, guys, you need this type of tool to optimize your site speed, then you can get this Revit Loader lifetime deal for your unlimited website. I'll get the link of Revit Loader lifetime deal in the description and in the comment section of this video. You can get at least 10% discount on this pricing, guys. Just go to the description of this video. And get the 10% discount on Revit Loader lifetime deal. And it's an affiliate link as if you use this link to purchase this amazing deal, I'll get a small commission without costing you any additional costing. So if you think as this video is helpful for you, then please consider using this link to purchase this amazing deal. Thank you so much guys for watching this video.